In the vibrant world of sports, Mary Lou stood as a beacon of excellence, once celebrated for her athletic achievements. Yet, life took an unexpected turn when she was struck by a severe lung infection that put her life in jeopardy. In the midst of this harrowing ordeal, Mary Lou found herself overwhelmed by a wave of public support and love, a response that reignited her spirit. She had once believed that her influence had faded, that she was merely a forgotten figure in the annals of sports history. However, the outpouring of affection during her illness reminded her of the lasting mark she had left on countless lives, reaffirming her place as a figure of enduring significance in the world of sports. Her journey through the pinnacle of sports was marked by iconic moments, such as her victory in the 1984 Olympics, where she stood proudly on the podium in a red, white, and blue leotard. This moment was not just a personal victory, but a national celebration, as she became the first American woman to win a gold medal in gymnastics. Her achievement was a source of national pride, leading to her widespread recognition, from magazine covers to advertisements, and even making her the first woman athlete featured on a Wheaties cereal box. These accomplishments positioned her as a pivotal figure in the golden age of American women's gymnastics. One of Mary Lou's most treasured memories was the experience of watching the American flag being raised and hearing the national anthem as she stood on the medal stand. This lifetime achievement, she believed, was a moment that would never fade from her memory or the collective memory of those who held her dear. However, the narrative took a grave turn when, in October, it was announced that Mary Lou was battling a life-threatening form of pneumonia in a Texas hospital. Her eldest daughter joined her for the interview. As Mary Lou herself retained little memory of her month-long ordeal in the hospital, where she was dangerously close to being placed on life support. Mary Lou's typical reticence about her private struggles made her openness about this life-threatening experience particularly significant. Her previous interviews, often filled with recollections of Olympic glory, contrasted sharply with her current reality, focusing instead on survival. The crisis escalated the day after Mary Lou had been out, feeling only mild fatigue, which she attributed to aging. But by the next morning, she was overwhelmed by a lack of breath, a condition so severe that she found herself incapacitated on her bedroom floor, unable to meet her daughters as planned. Fortuitously, a neighbor noticed something amiss when they saw Mary Lou's car door left open. Acting on intuition, the neighbor entered Mary Lou's home, already knowing the security code, and found her in time to potentially save her life. Mary Lou was swiftly taken to the emergency room by the quick-thinking neighbor, where she was diagnosed with pneumonia. Unfortunately, the initial treatment she received was insufficient, and she felt the medical care did not take her condition seriously enough, leading to her being sent home prematurely. The day after Mary Lou Retton experienced severe respiratory distress, her condition worsened drastically. Realizing the gravity of her mother's health, her daughter swiftly transported her to a larger, unnamed hospital in a neighboring city. Upon arrival, the medical staff quickly determined that Mary Lou's oxygen levels were critically low and continued to decline. Without hesitation, she was admitted to the intensive care unit where the medical team urgently began to assess her condition. In the ICU, the doctors conducted a series of tests including for COVID, influenza, and respiratory syncytial virus, among others, trying to diagnose the cause of her sudden and severe symptoms. Despite the comprehensive testing, all results came back negative. The x-rays showed her lungs completely obscured, appearing white, indicating severe infection or inflammation. Mary Lou, who had never before suffered from lung problems, was shocked by the severity of her condition. As her oxygen levels kept dropping, her medical team prepared to place her on a ventilator and advised her family to prepare for the worst possible outcome. 
The doctors even suggested that her other daughter should be present, fearing that Mary Lou might not survive the night. In a heartfelt and somber moment, her daughters gathered around her bed, laying hands on her and praying, bracing themselves to possibly say their final goodbyes. The emotional weight of the moment was palpable, with her family struggling to cope with the potential loss. Amidst this crisis, the financial burden of her medical care became a pressing concern. Knowing the mounting medical bills could be overwhelming, Mary Lou's daughters set up an online fundraiser to help cover the costs, revealing that Mary Lou did not have health insurance. This disclosure surprised and saddened many of her supporters as it highlighted the vulnerable position even a celebrated athlete could find themselves in. Mary Lou explained her lack of insurance by pointing to the financial difficulties she faced following her divorce and the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, coupled with the expenses from over 30 orthopedic surgeries she had undergone. Despite these challenges, Mary Lou's daughters remained hopeful and supported her throughout her hospital stay. As doctors struggled with a diagnosis, they decided to try a new approach by administering oxygen directly through her nose, hoping to stabilize her condition. This intervention marked a turning point in her treatment, reflecting her fighting spirit, a tenacity that had characterized her entire life. From winning Olympic gold to battling this unexpected illness, Mary Lou's condition gradually stabilized enough for her to consider returning home. The doctors set a simple yet challenging goal. If she could walk down the hospital corridor with an oxygen tank, she could go home for Christmas. Energized by the prospect of spending the holiday with her family, Mary Lou mustered the strength to meet this challenge, her spirit uplifted by the thought of returning home. The overwhelming love and support she received during her hospitalization from financial donations to heartfelt prayers played a crucial role in her recovery. Mary Lou's resilience shone through as she faced the uncertainty of her health's future, determined not to let this setback defeat her. Despite not knowing whether she would have lasting lung issues or how long she might need supplemental oxygen, she was filled with gratitude for the support and vowed to keep fighting, using the strength drawn from her ordeal and the support of her community to forge ahead in her recovery. Mary Lou Retton, a name synonymous with gymnastic greatness, recently shared her thoughts on a troubling issue that shook the foundations of the sport she loves. During her time as an iconic athlete, Mary Lou dazzled the world, her performances marking some of the most memorable moments in gymnastics history. However, today, she finds herself reflecting not on medals and accolades, but on a scandal that has deeply affected the gymnastic community. The Larry Nassar scandal, as it became known, revealed disturbing truths that left many in disbelief, including Mary Lou. She served on the board of USA Gymnastics for eight years, a role that placed her at the heart of the organization during tumultuous times. While on the board, Mary Lou was restricted from speaking out due to legal constraints, but now she openly expresses her dismay, stating that the board members, including herself, were deceived. Vital information was withheld, making it impossible for them to grasp the full extent of the abuse occurring under their oversight. Mary Lou's discussion about the scandal is poignant. She laments the tarnishing of a beautiful sport filled with talented and dedicated individuals by the actions of one harmful person. The future of gymnastics, she fears, is uncertain, clouded by the fallout of Nasser's actions and the upheaval within the governing federation. As a parent of a young gymnast, Mary Lou faces personal dilemmas. Her daughter, still actively involved in high-level gymnastics, frequently asks about the future of the sport questions to which Mary Lou has no answers? This uncertainty is a heavy burden, compounded by the fact that parents once believed the Federation was a safe and trustworthy environment for their children. The strength and resilience of the gymnastic community, however, 
give Mary Lou a glimmer of hope. She was moved by the display of unity and courage at the ESPAs, where numerous women came forward to speak against Nassar. This collective voice, according to Mary Lou, is what will help the sport heal and hopefully move beyond this dark chapter. Despite the challenges and the changes within the Federation, Mary Lou's life remains intertwined with gymnastics. She talks about her current life with a mix of humor and realism. Being a mother to an athlete involves its own set of challenges and embarrassments, like being overly vocal during competitions, something she finds both humorous and slightly mortifying. Mary Lou also shares lighter moments of her life, revealing her continued passion for fitness and her involvement in activities that keep her in shape, like ballet and cardiovascular exercises. Even with injuries like a broken toe, her spirit remains undiminished, driven by the same determination that once propelled her to Olympic glory. In discussing the past and present of gymnastics, Mary Lou navigates her story with a mix of nostalgia for her competitive days and a sharp awareness of the sport's current realities. Her journey from an Olympic champion to a board member and a parent encapsulates the love she has for gymnastics, despite the profound challenges it faces. In the quiet town of Fairmont, West Virginia, a young girl named Mary Lou Retton began a journey that would significantly impact the world of gymnastics. From her first steps, it was evident that Mary Lou was brimming with boundless energy and a love for movement. Recognizing their daughter's potential, her parents, Ronnie and Lois Retton, enrolled her in gymnastics at the age of four, unaware of how this decision would shape their daughter's future. As Mary Lou grew, so did her talent, flourishing like a rare flower in the competitive atmosphere of gymnastics. Her parents, though not wealthy, were resolved to nurture her dreams. They undertook additional jobs and sought community support to ensure Mary Lou had the resources she needed to succeed. Their unwavering belief in her laid the groundwork for her future achievements. Under the tutelage of the legendary coach Bella Caroli, Mary Lou's training intensified, becoming a rigorous blend of sweat, tears, and relentless determination. She spent countless hours in the gym, perfecting routines and pushing the limits of what seemed humanly possible. Bella's demanding coaching style tested Mary Lou's physical and mental endurance, but she met each challenge with steadfast resolve. Throughout her career, Mary Lou experienced the exhilarating highs of victory, often standing atop podiums with gold medals around her neck, her smile radiating joy and satisfaction. However, her path to success was strewn with challenges. Injuries threatened to cut her career short, but she refused to give up, overcoming pain and adversity to come back stronger each time. The internal battles, the pressure to perform perfectly, and the fear of failure weighed heavily on her, but Mary Lou's indomitable spirit saw her through. She transformed her fears into fuel for success, demonstrating a resilience that became her hallmark. The constant throughout Mary Lou's journey was the support and love from her mother, Lois. Lois was a pillar of strength and reassurance, standing by her daughter's side, offering comfort and encouragement when doubts threatened to overwhelm her. Her presence reminded Mary Lou that she was not alone in her pursuit of greatness. Mary Lou Retton's early life and training are a testament to the power of dreams and the resilience of the human spirit. Her story highlights that true greatness is not just about winning medals, but also about the relentless pursuit of one's dreams, supported by the love and sacrifice of those who believe in us. Mary Lou's parents played a pivotal role in her journey. Despite their financial constraints, Ronnie and Lois were unwavering in their support. They recognized her potential early on and committed themselves to provide for her needs. They worked tirelessly, taking on multiple jobs and engaging with their community 
to support Mary Lou's training expenses. Their efforts included organizing fundraisers and seeking donations from local businesses and individuals inspired by Mary Lou's potential. Community support became a vital part of Mary Lou's story. The Retton family's outreach efforts not only helped alleviate some of their financial burdens, but also bolstered Mary Lou's morale. Lois, in particular, was instrumental in this process. She was a constant fixture at Mary Lou's competitions, offering emotional support and ensuring that her daughter felt loved and valued. The sacrifices made by Mary Lou's parents extended beyond financial aspects. They rearranged their lives to accommodate her training and competition schedules, ensuring she had the necessary resources to excel. Their dedication to her success was unwavering, and they instilled in her the values of hard work and perseverance. During Mary Lou Retton's time, gymnastics was incredibly competitive and demanding. It was a period of rapid evolution in the sport, pushing athletes to achieve new heights of skill and athleticism. Competitors from all over the world competed for top honors on the global stage. During this era, the Soviet Union was a dominant force in gymnastics, showcasing extraordinary talent and technical skill. Gymnasts like Olga Korbut and Nadia Komanetsi had set incredibly high standards with their groundbreaking performances and perfect scores, captivating audiences worldwide and setting high expectations for all gymnasts. In this highly competitive environment, Mary Lou Retton emerged as a standout athlete. Her dynamic power, captivating routines, and infectious charisma won over both audiences and judges. She brought a new energy to the sport, blending grace with explosive athleticism and pushing the boundaries of what was considered achievable in gymnastics. Mary Lou's journey to the top was filled with challenges. She faced tough competition from gymnasts across the world, each bringing their own unique strengths and styles to the competition floor. The American gymnastics scene was also fiercely competitive, with talented athletes like Julianne McNamara, Tracy Talavera, and Kathy Johnson pushing each other to excel. The pressure to perform at the highest level was immense, with gymnasts dedicating countless hours to training, pushing their bodies to the limit, and honing their skills to perfection. Even the smallest mistake could mean the difference between victory and defeat. Despite these challenges, Mary Lou thrived under pressure. She delivered stunning performances when it mattered most, particularly highlighted by her famous vault, the Retton Flip, which showcased her unique blend of power, precision, and artistry. Her ability to perform flawlessly under intense scrutiny set her apart from her competitors and cemented her status as a legend in the sport. Her iconic triumph at the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles, where she became the first American woman to win the all-around gold medal, not only marked a personal victory, but also a significant moment for American gymnastics. This win inspired a new generation of athletes and significantly boosted the sport's popularity in the United States. Mary Lou's era in gymnastics was marked by fierce rivalries, high stakes, and immense talent. It was a time when gymnastics reached new levels of athleticism and captivated audiences worldwide. In this challenging environment, Mary Lou's indomitable spirit and exceptional abilities propelled her to the pinnacle of the sport, leaving a lasting impact on gymnastics history. Physical and mental health are crucial for gymnasts, as demonstrated by the near-perfect performances of top athletes like Mary Lou Retton. In the demanding world of gymnastics, maintaining optimal physical condition and nurturing mental resilience are essential for success and longevity. The sport demands intense training regimens, repetitive movements, and high-impact landings, which can place significant stress on the body. To mitigate injury risks and enhance performance, gymnasts prioritize proper conditioning, strength training, flexibility exercises, 
and injury prevention techniques. Mary Lou dedicated extensive time and effort to her physical conditioning, incorporating strength training exercises like weightlifting and bodyweight exercises to build the power and endurance needed for her routines. Flexibility training, including stretching and practicing splits and backbends, was also integral to her regimen, helping her achieve the flexibility required for her gymnastic routines. Mental health presents its own set of challenges in gymnastics. The pressure to perform flawlessly, the constant pursuit of perfection, and the competitive environment can take a toll on an athlete's mental well-being. Gymnasts must manage stress, cope with expectations, and maintain a healthy mindset. Techniques such as visualization, goal setting, and mindfulness are employed to enhance focus, build confidence, and manage performance anxiety. Supportive networks of peers, coaches, and professionals also play a crucial role in helping athletes navigate the psychological demands of the sport. In recent years, there has been a growing emphasis on athlete well-being and mental health in gymnastics. Athletes are increasingly encouraged to prioritize self-care, seek support when needed, and maintain a balance between training, competition, and personal life. While awareness and emphasis on mental health have increased significantly compared to Mary Lou's era, the importance of both physical and mental well-being has always been recognized as essential for achieving and sustaining success in the sport.